To measure hip flexion, the patient is positioned in supine. The axis of the goniometer is placed over the greater trochanter of the femur and the stationary arm is parallel to the trunk and the movable arm parallel to the femur, pointing to the lateral epicondyle. Ask the patient to bend their knee towards their chest as far as possible and ensure they avoid lumbar flexion. To measure hip extension, the patient is positioned in prone. The axis of the goniometer is placed over the greater trochanter of the femur with the stationary arm parallel to the trunk and the movable arm parallel to the femur, pointing to the lateral epicondyle. Ask the patient to lift their leg up as far as possible and ensure they avoid lumbar extension. To measure hip abduction, the patient is positioned in supine. The axis of the goniometer is placed over the anterior superior iliac spine, ASIS, with the stationary arm pointing to the contralateral ASIS and the movable arm parallel to the femur pointing to the middle of the patella. Ask the patient to take their leg out sideways as far as possible and ensure they avoid any external rotation of the hip. To measure hip external rotation, the patient is positioned in sitting with the hip and knee at 90 degrees. The axis of the goniometer is placed over the midpoint of the patella with the stationary arm perpendicular to the floor and the movable arm parallel to the tibia. Ask the patient to twist their hip so that their foot pulls inwards. To measure hip internal rotation, the patient is positioned in sitting with the hip and knee at 90 degrees. The axis of the goniometer is placed over the midpoint of the patella with the stationary arm perpendicular to the floor and the movable arm parallel to the tibia. Ask the patient to twist their hip so that their foot pulls outwards. 